Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, it's been such a long time. I missed you all. I hope you're doing well. So today this pick a card reading is about what do we need to know right now. So any message that corresponds to, corresponds to your current situation that is for you. So we have three groups today. This is group one, this is group two, this is group three. Um, group one. Group two and group three. So don't overthink it. Now I'm going to play the symbol three times for you to clear your energy, ground your energy, and then you can make your choice. Okay, I already feel the energy and it's going to be a juicy reading today. Um, I already get that some of you, you're going to choose multiple groups. That's okay. Okay, so any group that calls, that catches your attention, that is for you. So you can see the correspondent timestamp in the comment section and uh, you can follow my other channel, which is linked down in the description box. I will see you in your group. Hi group one, welcome to your reading. So this is your current energy. Let's see what is this card. Ooh, the moon. Um, you're thinking about the past, you're afraid of something. What are you afraid of? What are you thinking about? Something is lingering in your energy. Let's see, what is this? What is this? I get that you're thinking about your past. Maybe you're thinking about a person here. This person could be a Virgo, you could be a Virgo. One more card. What are you thinking? Oh, right. Okay. So I get um, right now you're in transition, group one. You are clearing out your past. It feels like you are like reorganizing your thoughts. You are reorganizing. You're trying to see what happened before and you're trying to make sense of this and then you can move on. It feels like you're arranging your thoughts. This is your current energy. So bottom we have three of cups. Um, okay. So it could be it could be involved with other people, but here I really get that your current energy is reflecting on the past thinking about the mistakes you've make you've made and then move on with the chariot maybe you don't have the energy yet but i think you will have the energy really soon to move on to move on to the next stage i really get that you're not seeing this group one you're not seeing that you're gaining momentum maybe you're still lingering about the past you're thinking about what what have you done what have other people done um but I'm telling you this message here, I really clearly see that the next chapter of your life, um, you're going to see your life is totally changed. And there is a sense of loneliness here. I really feel like you feel alone here, but it won't be pretty soon. It, it will, you will be surrounded with people, with energy in the near future. Um, okay, let me pull more cards. Let me see what cards do I use. This deck. If you're interested in the decks I use, um, you can you can see I made a video about the tarot decks I use on my other channel, which is linked in the description box. Okay, so um, what is what do you need to know right now, Group One? What do you need to know right now? What do Group One need to know right now? So the bottom we have Ten of Cups. Wow. Be optimistic. This is the first message I'm hearing. You should be optimistic, okay? So, yeah, we have the high priestess, okay? So, we have the six of coins, okay? So, we have the tower. Clear, right away, clearly, I'm hearing when your energy is balanced, your life is going to change. When your energy, when your energy, when your life uh, is all balanced out, when you have a really healthy dynamic, 
uh, not only for you, but uh, but for your life as well. Not only for your life, but also for your mental health, for your physical health, everything. Your life will have a big shift. The tower, it's something unexpected. Okay, it it, it comes really fast. With the chariot energy and with the tower energy, two energies together, I really feel like something is going to happen really, really soon. Um, it, it could be a little bit overwhelming, but you can handle this. And it's a really positive change. And with the high priestess here, I just want to tell you, group one, whatever that happened is only for you to learn and trust your intuition. If you sense something is off, then trust your intuition. Do not reason with your logic. You should always trust your intuition. And if something makes you feel unsafe, if something makes you feel uncomfortable, trust your intuition. Just leave, okay? Just get out the get out of the situation here. There is something you're thinking about. There is something that you're hesitating about. I just want to tell you, your intuition is right. Do not listen to other people. You just listen to your intuition, okay? Um, what else do you need to know? What else do you need to know? And I feel the message here is right now, it's a good time to cleanse yourself. It's a good time to balance your energy. It's a good time to refocus on yourself instead of everything else. It's really a good time to just take care of yourself, especially your, your physical health here with the Six of Pentacles. Well, and your mental health. Just feed yourself. Feed your body, feed your mind, feed your soul, okay? What else? What else? What else do you need to know? Five of Cups, Four of Wands. Soon you will be reunited with the people who are right for you. Um, and I see a new beginning when it comes to work. So some of you, you're looking for a new job. And I really feel like this new job will reunite you with the people um that is actually your tribe your pe your people your family your soul tribe here with the four of wands you will i feel like this energy is right now actually you're not in the right environment you're not um i just feel like you're not at the right place and with the five of cups yes something is off and this is uh, a little bit disappointed and a little bit disappointing and you might feel a little bit disappointed but it's okay. You will leave this to the past, okay? And I really see that good things are coming. With the strength here, I fe really feel now what you need to do is just focus on your physical health, actually. Because you will have a lot to um, handle in the near future. With the Page of Coins, with the Six of Pentacles, I really get something is about to change regarding to your money, career, finance, work, okay? And um, there will be people, there will be things that needs your energy, needs your attention, that you will be um, spending a lot of energy, but it's only, but it's only like, it's something only makes you happy, satisfying, okay? It's very, very bright, positive. So everything that happens in the past, just leave it, just leave it in the past, okay? Um, what else do we need to know here? Let me pull three more cards here. Okay, three of wands, yeah. Um, do not look back. The message is very clear. Group one, do not look back. It's the time for you to really leave the past behind. You should move on and you should look into the future and start planning. Yeah, this is what I feel. The energy pretty soon is you're going to juggle for something. You're going to have many things on your plate. You have a lot to deal. So right now, really... Yeah, with the judgment, your life is going to change for a big time. Your life is going to transform. Um, some of you, I see relocation here. With the judgment, your life feels so stagnant before, but it will not be. You will just have this big opportunity coming in. You will just have this big window. Um, I really feel this energy. You see, it's 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 from it transits from the moon with the hermit and then judgment so you're going through this transition and be prepared group one okay and uh some of your wish is going to come true but first of all you need to take care of yourself really you you need to focus on yourself focus on what you need okay um all right so let me pull 
the last oracle card for you, group one. Mira, what is triggering you? Exactly. I really feel if you sense something is off, just leave it. Okay? If you feel something is off, if you feel something is, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's not. Just, just trust your intuition. There is something that you need to trust your intuition. I don't know if this involve, involves um, with a decision making here, but really, who or what is triggering you? If something is triggering you, um, believe, in your, believe in your intuition, believe in the alarm in your head, okay? Um, but also, it's a good time to reflect on what's happening, why this is happening. What is the part that you take part in? In all of this take responsibility for yourself okay do not have the victimhood mentality instead ask yourself what is ask yourself the question like why this happened to me what role did I play in this in all of this um, and um, how can I change this okay but let go for sure let go really exciting reading group one I love this for you let me know what you think and I'll see you next time take care bye Hi, group two. Welcome to your reading. So this um, is your current energy. So what is your current energy? Let's see. Wow, page of swords. So you're learning, you're observing. Um, I just feel there's a lot of communication. You're observing, you're learning. Um, you're in the middle of something and you're curious for sure. So let's see. What is your current energy? What are you learning? What are you observing? Um, King of Cups. What are you observing? What are you learning? The Magician. Um, bottom we have Ten of Cups. I'm just going to pull three cards to clarify this because really I, I just want to know. I have something in my mind, but I don't want to say this out loud before I confirm that. Um, please clar clarify Page of Cups. Uh -huh. Please clarify King of Cups. Thank you, Universe. Uh -huh. Please clarify the Magician. Um, group two, I just want to tell you, someone is being emotionally manipulative to you. If you're hesitating about this, trust your intuition. There is someone who uh, who gaslighting you, who are manipulating you, um, and you are hesitating about this, you're not sure, but this reading today is telling you, you are sure. You, you know, actually. Yeah, this person doesn't engage, actually doesn't engage emotionally with you. It's just the game is playing with you i don't know if you are promised of something like this person could make you fake promises false promises and make you believe that this person has feelings on fe feelings for you but it's but it's not okay it's actually not it causes you a lot of anxiety this is the reason why you're observing this is the reason why you're keeping your distance because intu intuitively you know there's something's off intuitively you already know and this how can you tell something is off is because you feel powerless and you feel powerless and also you feel anxious if it really something is good then you won't feel this way if this true love this is even not true love if this is genuine love if this is honest love or honest or healthy connection then you won't feel this way. Because I really see something, someone is being manipulative here with a magician here. And you are kept small and you are kept here and you are kept like, really, really, you are kept like this, like a victim. Um, yeah. And I see this person could be um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a water sign here. Uh, or maybe Gemini Virgo. Is there any other possibility here? Let me see. Uh, 
Um, I just want to say, well, your situation is quite complicated and your energy is quite complicated, group two. Like, I, I feel there's a lot going on around you. And your energy feels like really a lot. Um, and I want to tell you, group two, just... Um, Well, I want to tell group to just take your time. Do not step into something really quickly. Okay, take your time. And do not believe in everything people tell you. You need to have your own judgment. You need to have your own clear mind. Because I really feel like there is some lies. There are some dishonesty here. There are some, you know there's something going on that is that is really not good for you here yeah um let me put more cards because i feel this is really like complicated um like do not it's easy to say like do not let other people manipulate you but i feel it's it's a little bit difficult for you right now um because i really feel <sighs> Let's, let's see what is the message here. Maybe it's not about this, but for group two, thank you, universe. For the greatest and highest good of all, thank you, universe. Death, exactly. Queen of Cups, yeah. The lovers. I really feel like this is a, uh, some of you, this is like a romance scam. Like someone is pretending to, uh, someone is pretending to offer you love, but actually it's it's not um yeah trust your intuition because you know what i think group two the problem for you is you are really soft you're really kind you're too kind and you do not you do want you do not want to say no to people you do not want to offend people and you do not want to hurt people but this is what this person sees in you and this is why this person thinks he he or she, I mean, he could take advantage of you. And this is the person sees where, like, you can be cracked in. You know, you can be broke down. Um, I really uh, hate to say this, but really with the death here and with the nine of swords, just ask yourself, are you happy? Just ask yourself, like, are you happy? Are you happy? Not the other person. Are you happy? Your happiness is the first. If you're not, if you're not feeling happy, if you are miserable, then, you know, the one who truly loves you will will only make you feel safe, warm, and happy. No matter how they how good they can pretend, but if you if you're not feeling this way, then there is something wrong. So this is what I want to tell you, group, um, group two. Um, what else? What else? Three of coins. The star. Four of coins. You know what, because you're too shiny, it's like, you know, people tend to hold on to those energies that are, that are too good. Like, you know, when there is light, then the insects are going to fly onto it. it. It feels like this, you attract these people because you're a star. Uh, you are shining and you are so bright. So you attract, sometimes you attract people who need this, who are energy vampires or who need this. They just want to grab, like, they just want to hold on to you. They just want to grab you. So it's very important to protect your energy, okay? Group two, promise me, you are going to protect yourself. You are going to make yourself safe. You are going to protect your energy and realize your energy is so precious that you... Do not share your energy, your time, and everything with other people casually, okay? Just make sure that this person deserves all this. I really feel like someone is not on your level, and someone really, really want, want a piece of you. But 
I don't think you're going to let them, okay? Uh, with the Four of Coins, I really feel you are going to reserve your energy. You are going to stay low, stay down, and be low key. Um, sometimes it's 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 not good to be high key. <laughs> I don't know what's the word. Sometimes you need to be a star. Shine for the people who needs you. Shine for the people who actually follow you. But sometimes we need to learn how to hide ourselves because there are people who don't have the best intentions, okay? There are people who have secret agendas. If you shine too much, then you're become, you becoming that target. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there is a time and occasion for you to shine. The most important thing is you need to protect yourself, okay? Um... What else do you need to know, group two? Thank you, universe. Oh my God, this card come, came for group one as well. So yeah, so if you listen to group one, then yeah, if this person is triggering you, if something is off, then just, I mean, just trust your intuition. Do not trust anything else. Just trust your intuition, okay? Um, I really feel like you're being too kind. If you need to cut some person out, then you cut some person out. Okay, what is triggering you? Who or what is triggering you? You know the answer. Do not lie to yourself. Okay? Yeah, the sum. So this will be fine. This will be fine, group two. So this is your reading. I really like this. And um, I'm so sorry to be this harsh. But I hope everything the best for you. Okay? Um, let me know what you think. And uh, best wish for everything. And good luck. Take care of yourself. Okay? Group two. Um... I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, group three. Welcome to your reading. So first of all, let's see this uh, card as your current energy. Wow, four of wands. Good. Good, good, good. You know what is your future. You know how to get there. Or at least you know what you want. And then you're working on this. Right. I really love your energy. And you're thinking really, really clearly. I think you're the future of group one and two. Um, but right. I feel there's a good things coming in your way. Because you have everything ready on your side. Wow. You see this card jumping out? Yeah. It's a sort of new beginning. Cutting people off. Yeah. Cutting people off. New beginning. Seeing the truth. Um cutting all the bs i really feel like this is talking about cutting all the bs um i think you will have a brand new start because okay uh group three i think you have a really really sharp mind right now your mind works so good uh keep on doing that if you need to connect with this crystal then please do that because this corresponds to our um third eye chakra um it gives you clear thoughts okay so it's very important for you i think you need this to have this new beginning and you need to make a plan for your future you need to think clearly okay you need to think straight um yeah this is what is it this is about i think you are on your way to build something um let's see what is the message for you thank you universe what is the message for, yeah, for group three? I love this. Wow. I love this. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. I love this. So we have three of cups. I think you, what you are going to have is really a happy time. Really. So king of coins, knight of swords, and um, king of coins, knight of swords, and eight of coins. I really feel like you are building things for yourself. All right, you're building your future and you're being patient. And also, I think you're building your abundance, your empire. You're building your financial security. You're building up a really good life for yourself. You're doing the hard work. You are taking responsibility. You're taking on the task that's that's needed. And you have the full speed moving on. Um, and it's, it's so good. Just keep what you're doing. This is working, okay? This is exactly what you need to do. And also, this message is telling you financial stability is on the horizon. Abundance and financial security is on the horizon, okay? Um, yeah. So, I really feel like... I really feel like you're manifesting the, the abundance that you do not know that it's going to be so, so surprising for you. So maybe it, it feels like 
maybe you only expect that you 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 earn this much but actually the the money that's going to come in with your hard work is going to be more it, it really feels like something like money wise uh, will surprise you because of what you've done but keep on moving okay and also i really feel like this could talk about uh your physical body like you please keep move please keep working on your physical body because this is you're getting the results for some of you you want to lose weight for some of you want you want to gain weights for some of you 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 just want to um get toned uh put on more muscles exercise regularly and you will see the result is much much more satisfying than you imagine so apply this to money so it's the same okay um what else right and and yeah and i think you you're focusing on your money you're focusing on yourself which is really good and you're focusing on your happiness so the chariot i love this i love this you're going to save yourself from a really um bad situation you're going to connect with the right people soon as well uh group three i really feel like you're saving yourself from a bad situation that limits you that puts you that puts you on a victim oops on a victimhood uh mentality and make you feel powerless um yeah I really feel it's like this. I, I feel you're going to get out of something that is really toxic and you're going to basically save yourself. And I, I think as a reward, um, you will find the you'll find the inner child, you will, you will have the inner peace in, within you and also you will connect with the right people who actually nurtures you emotionally. Um, also, there's a breakthrough about inner child healing with a six of cups here so keep working on your body keep working on your money um there is a breakthrough for you about inner child healing and in healing in your healing journey in general you will see a lot of things that you haven't seen before and you will realize you will learn a lot of lessons that actually are really really groundbreaking um what else for group three seven of swords the emperor yeah um we have the king of pentacles and we have the queen of pentacles so money is on the cards for you for sure and i think with the emperor here you're just building up your empire your abundance steadily and there is some people who are a little bit sneaky i don't think you will let them get away because i think you have very strong boundaries here okay with the emperor the message here for you with all the swords card for you is stand strong in your boundaries do not let down your boundaries for anyone okay stand strong stand tall stand up strong defend yourself to have like really really strong clear boundaries and um these scammers these people this you know these people will just go away yeah these people will just go away um with a six of cups also <clears throat> I think there is something groundbreaking about inner child healing here. Um, focus on your money. Focus on your health. Focus on yourself. Uh, yeah. Okay, so... The, wow! Okay. Last card. Longing for home, belonging to the original light workers. I think... I don't know what you're going through, but group three... I think what you are going through, what you're experiencing right now will only bring you closer to your soul family, to your soulmates, to your soulmates, soulmate, to your soul, to yourself. This is all a journey and I, I really feel like where you are, you don't belong here. Longing for home. So maybe you're actually at home, but you don't feel you belong here. There is a sense of belonging. But I think you will, with the Six of Cups here, you will return. I hear the word return, I don't know. You'll return to the place where you actually belong to that place. You actually connect with those people. You you return to your tribe. This is the feeling I'm getting here. Like you don't belong here. You belong to somewhere else where the people just connect with you. 
and who can actually give you and you know who can actually give you and take care of you and this this is mutual um it's going to happen soon so do not worry but you need to have strong boundaries so cut people off um cut people off and uh yeah have clear boundaries and just i feel you've done a great job in self-love in self-care so be prepared of the reward from the universe right i love this reading for you group three and i hope you'll love it too let me know what you think and um i will see you next time take care bye